What's up guys, it's Ty the Investor here. Just wanted to give you a quick review uh, and overview of Text Magic SMS uh, software. This is the software that I utilize to create my text message campaigns. Um, pretty much Text Magic, they have an online uh, application as well as a phone application where you can utilize to create and manage your uh, SMS messages and campaigns. Which is pretty cool. Uh, the best thing about Text Magic that I like is the fact that there's no monthly subscription. Um, you pay as you go. So you upload uh, funds to the account and then you utilize um, your balance to create your messages and, and pull from there. So I believe the minimum is $20 to upload to, to the account. And then each message that you send is four cents out of that $20. So um, yeah, I just want to give you a quick overview of that. Um, and also, I like the interface. The interface is pretty user-friendly. It's easy to use. Not too much going on. They also provide reporting and analytics for your campaigns as well. So it's pretty dope. So I'll just go through uh, briefly some of these things here. And uh, yeah, they're not by any means endorsing me. But, you know, just wanted to kind of, you know, just share what I utilize in my process. Um, so the first thing we have is Compose. Uh, we'll go to this later, but this is where you pretty much create your campaigns. And schedule your campaigns and things along those lines. Um, next thing that we have is chats. Uh, just chats column is where the communication would be handled and managed here. So if you send out messages and uh, people respond back to you, this is where you're going to be communicating. Um, just one thing to note when you do send messages back, each message that you send out, you will get charged that four cents out of your balance. Um, so yeah, just want to let you know that um, contacts here is where I usually start. Um, this is where you upload your list. You upload, uh, you create your list, and you upload your contacts here. So briefly, um, I have a couple contact lists right here, but I'll show you guys um, briefly how they how to upload the list and create your contacts. So pretty much what you should do is you go to new list. You create a list name, which we're going to call it test one. Um, make this list private. Yep, that's what I do. Uh, then I hit save. And then I go to test one, open it up. And then you want to hit add contacts. And then you can create an individual contact one by one, import from the spreadsheet like Excel, um, Google Sheets, things of, the, of that nature. Um, Import from another app, app from existing contacts. Uh, pretty much what I utilize is much easier for me is import from a spreadsheet. Uh, I'm just going ahead and click that real quick. Um, then you're going to choose a file. Uh, choosing a file is way better than copy and pasting the phone numbers. Um, so I'm going to hit choose the file. I'm going to choose Houston County Mobile. Those are all cell phone numbers. Tip, make sure you scrub your list and grab cell phone numbers. Okay. It'll save you some time and money. You can use the filter to exclude landline numbers, but they'll charge you more for that. So I just suggest you scrub the mobile numbers first so you don't have to go through that and make sure you're saving some money. Um, so then you hit continue. All of my numbers are from the same country. Yep. Uh, add contacts to this list. Test one. Yep. And then we're going to hit continue. My number's already scrubbed, so I don't need to select this part. All right, so now here is where here is where you select your columns and make sure you get your imports correctly. So I do want to import the first name, last name, phone number, and property address. That's all I care about. And then what you want to do is kind of look over your list and make sure these things match up, the name, number, and the address. And then you'll be good to go. Um, exclude the first row. Pretty much this is taking out this the column names. So you want to exclude those. Then you hit continue. Um, I already got this list already uploaded, so I don't want to hit continue. Um, but yeah, I'll stop there. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, then we can go into the scheduled column. Scheduled is pretty much what messages that you have scheduled, anything you've completed, things along those lines, any upcoming uh, messages and campaigns, history, is your previous campaigns, previous messages that you sent, um, templates, 
this is important here. This helps you out as far as uh, easily being able to create these uh, text message templates. My go-to one right here is this one. This is the one I utilize. Um, I just pretty much say, good morning, this is Ty. I was looking at the house on property address I believe you own. Are you the owner? I'm looking to buy in the area. And pretty much what this property address part is, it's a tag. So um, it's, I could just go back and say, I was looking at the house on, insert tag, property address, I believe you own, right? You own. Are you the owner? I'm looking to buy in the area. I can also add their name. I can say, good morning insert tag first name this is ty i was looking at the house on property address that you i believe you own blah 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 uh and that's pretty that keeps it you know uh tailored to that specific person that way it won't seem as if it's just uh, a random text message coming from going to the everybody um so yeah that's that's what i utilize uh, so you hit save you save that uh, and then pretty much you create your campaign. So once you create your template, you upload your contact list, you go to Compose. And Compose, pretty much you add your list. Let's use that Houston County list, right? Then you use the default settings. You can also utilize their numbers, the text magic numbers. This is what's going to show on the caller ID, um, but it always recommends the default settings, so that's what I use. Um, you can also buy phone numbers from them as well. So if you want to change up your phone numbers, you can buy phone numbers. I believe it's like four bucks a number um, for a certain period of time or something like that. Uh, then also you can just, uh, next you'll go into uh, your messages, right? So you'll insert that template from earlier, right? Insert template. That way you don't have to type it over and over and over again. And then um, it'll pull up here and it'll, it'll show you your costs, right? Your total cost for this campaign. So for 48 records and 48 phone numbers is going to cost me a dollar and 92 cents then you preview the message once you preview that message uh you're good to go just make sure everything matches up the property address matches up with the homeowner the homeowner matches up with the cell phone number and things along those lines then you can hit send to get it started right then or you can schedule your message out for a date and time in the future to schedule it and it'll automatically send you can also repeat the same sequence every so often so if you want to repeat it every month every week every year every day you can do that um, and that's kind of what I utilize as well um, and then finally what I like is the reporting you can look at your analytics look at the overview uh, pretty much it gives you information on how many messages were sent how many were received um, from the uh, sellers the homeowners your delivery rate uh, the reply rate and how much you spent um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. They got charts and graphs and things like that. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over what I've been using and it's called text magic. Um, if this, if you found this video valuable, um, feel free to please like comment and subscribe, utilize it, give it a test run. Tell me your thoughts and yeah, uh, just trying to show everybody what I've been using in my business to keep this thing going for SMS. So yeah, so I appreciate you guys right now. I'm zoning off and I'll see you on the next one.